Welcome to Groundbreakers. I hope you've all had a good week. This week we launch a new topic which is all about Ruth. And the big idea today is that Naomi and Ruth return home. And the big point that we want you to get out of this session today is that God still has a plan. So let's pray before we start. Lord God, we pray that you would be with us today as we learn more about you. We thank you for your word and for the story of Ruth and Naomi. Lord, help us to learn more about you and more about how we can live for you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Enjoy the session. It is now time for this week's big story and this is based on Ruth chapter 1, the story of Ruth and Naomi. There was once a time when the judges ruled in Israel and a terrible famine came upon the land. There lived in Israel a man named Elimelech and his wife Naomi. They had two sons called Marlon and Kilion. Elimelech decided to leave Judah and took his wife and his sons to the country of Moab. They settled there as a family in the hope of a better life. However, Elimelech sadly passed away, leaving Naomi and her sons. Eventually, her sons married Moabite women, one named Orpah and one called Ruth. This was such a joyful occasion. She was happy to welcome them into her family. However, about ten years later, both of Naomi's sons, Marlon and Kilion, sadly passed away. Naomi was sad because she was left alone with no husband and no sons. She found it hard to understand why would God let this happen? Suddenly, Naomi heard that the Lord had blessed those in Judah with great crops again. And so Naomi packed her bags and headed back to Judah. Her daughters, Orpah and Ruth, joined her on her journey. However, when they got to a certain point on the journey, Naomi told Orpah and Ruth to head back home to their mothers and that she would finish the journey alone. But Ruth was determined that she would not leave Naomi. She said, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Wherever you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Naomi realised that Ruth was adamant and so they continued along the journey until they reached Judah. Hi there Groundbreakers, it's lovely to be with you this morning and I have a memory verse for you with some actions to help you remember. It is Ruth chapter 1 verse 16 and it goes like this. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Have a great time this morning and just remember that God never leaves us and he has a plan for each one of us. Bye. Good morning, Groundbreakers. We are going to do our craft now, which is a friendship wreath. So in order to do this, you are going to need um, a paper plate or a piece of paper cut into the shape of a circle like this about the same size as a plate you are going to need some different colored pieces of paper so um, so sort of two, three or four different colors or two different colors um, 
you're going to need some glue. Now, if you're using a paper plate, you may find runny glue to be easier than Brit stick, just because things stick a bit better. You're going to need a pen. Let's draw around. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need our memory verse. So Ruth chapter 1 verse 16. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to draw around our hands. So what we need is a lot of different hands. Enough hands to go around the edge of your plate. So we're going to go draw around our hands. And then if by magic we're going to cut them all out so that they go all the way around the outside of our plate. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of our hand here, just on the bottom bit. We don't need to go all the way up because that would get very messy very quickly. Pop the lid on that. Now, with our circle, we're going to just pop it around the edge. Now you're going to want to leave the middle bit free because we're going to need that bit later. So what you're going to then do is you get all your hands that you've cut out and you're going to put them all the way around the edge of the plate. There we go. So you will eventually end up with... Here's one I made earlier. A wreath that looks a little bit like this. Oh, let's get it the right way up. Now, as you can see, if I can get this nice and close, I've written our memory verse in the middle. It would be really good if you could too. And around the outside, on each of our hands... I have written one word that I think means that you are a good friend. So I've put patience and love and kindness and trust. So you can write down different words. So one for each hand that you think will make up um, a good friendship or what makes you a good friend. So I look forward to seeing all your wreaths and I hope you enjoy making one. See you later, Groundbreakers. Hello, so we are going to be talking about Ruth chapter one and I will just kind of recap on what we've learned from our video on it and just kind of, we're going to look at it in a little bit more depth, okay? So, in the town of Bethlehem lived a woman named Naomi who lived there with her husband and her two sons. There was a great famine in Bethlehem where she lived and a famine basically means there wasn't enough food for people to live. So because of this, Naomi and her family moved to a place named Moab, where there was more food. While in Moab, Naomi's husband sadly passed away, leaving her two sons and herself. Later, Naomi's sons got married. They both got married. One married a lady called Orpha. And, a second, and the second son married a woman called Ruth. After some time, both of Naomi's sons also sadly passed away, leaving Naomi, Orpah, and Ruth not knowing what to do. This time was very sad for these three women. They must have felt like God had abandoned them or had forgotten about them. We can sometimes feel like this when we're struggling in life or how COVID is affecting our lives. We can feel like God has maybe forgotten about us or has abandoned us. But as we learn later on in the book of Ruth, and as our big point says, God still has a plan. And that is just so incredible that despite what's going on in our lives, if things are going wrong, we know that God still has a plan. So he knows what he's doing and he is in control. So if we're going, we're just going to go back to um, looking at the story of Ruth. So Naomi heard that in the town, in her hometown Bethlehem, God had provided them with food. So Naomi made the decision to move back to Bethlehem. Naomi knew that Orpha and Ruth would probably have a better life if they returned back to their families. So Orpha went back to her home with her parents and her family. But Ruth refused to leave Naomi on her own. Ruth said to Naomi in verse 16 of chapter 1, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. And your people will be my people. And your God will be my God. Ruth, couldn't have, Ruth could have started a new life. 
She could have remarried and had her own family and lived quite happily. But her love for her mother-in-law and most importantly, her love for God made her stay with Naomi. Ruth shows us here that despite what may happen to us, despite any pain or suffering that we may experience on this earth, God still has a plan. And he will use our situations and the things that we're going through for good. And most importantly, he will use these situations to show all of those people around us how good and how loving he is. I just want to encourage you that this is, this is a hard time that we are all experiencing, not being able to go to school or possibly not being able to see our families or our grandparents, but we can trust that God, like he does for Ruth, he will work all of these things that we are going through together for our good. And isn't that just so incredible that all of the things that we're finding hard God is using for the good of the world and he's using them to develop us, to make us better people, to make us more like Jesus. And that is just so incredible that no matter what we're going through, God is using it for the good of ourselves and the good of those around us. Breaking of the daylight Help us see the world through your eyes Finding beauty in the broken Trusting promises you've spoken You've got plans to give us a future and a hope We are not forgotten, we are not alone Plans to lead us home into your hearts you are always with us everywhere we are You stay loyal for a lifetime Through the shadows and the sunlight When our worries overtake us We believe that they won't break us You've got plans to give us a future and a hope We are not forgotten we are not alone Plans to lead us home into your heart You are always with us everywhere we are On and on your love will never stop Shining down upon us, never letting up On and on your love will see us through Even in the shadows we will trust in you God plans to give us future and a hope we are not forgotten we are not alone plans to lead us home into your heart you are always with us everywhere we are you've got plans to give us a future and a hope we are not forgotten we are not alone Plans to lead us home into your heart You are always with us everywhere we are You've got plans to give us a future and a hope We are not forgotten, we are not alone Plans to lead us home into your heart You are always with us everywhere we are Plans to give us a future and a hope Wow, what a wonderful session it has been today. I hope you really enjoyed doing the craft and singing the worship song and learning more about the story of Ruth. So let's pray as we finish today. Lord God, we thank you for all that we've learned today 
about the story of Ruth. We thank you that through challenging times and difficult times, Lord God, that you still have a plan, that you are always faithful to us. So Lord, I pray for each child listening today, Lord God, be with them this week as they go about their week. And Lord Jesus, I pray that they would know that you are with them, that you love them and that you still have a plan. And everybody said, Amen. Have a wonderful week ahead. And remember, we are praying for you.